We're here with Iceline Jones. You are the wife yes. of Old Dirty Bastard. So now it's a tale of two dirties. What was he like as a husband? He was <laughs> humble. He was strict. More so, he was a loving father. He was a real good husband. He made sure I had everything I needed. He <laughs> taught me how to cook and clean. What was the favorite dish that he taught you how to cook? Lasagna <laughs> and fried rice oh, and oodles and noodles. Okay. So what are some of your fondest memories of him? Very protective, yes, over the family. He made sure that we were safe. He was the leader. And we're here with his son, Barson Jones, AKA Young Dirty <laughs> Bastard. How you All doing? Right. What's your name? I'm Nikki. Nikki. So as a little boy growing up, how was he to you as a father? My mother said leadership. That was like, he had a lot of charisma. You know, his, his middle name was, actually my middle name is Unique. His name was Unique. A song Unique. Him to name us, he was free. You no, know, he was the originator. Can you share that Unique name with us or is that like a family thing? My yes. husband, he, okay. he named all of us. Yes. So my husband was Unique A Son of Law and I was Shaquita, B okay. Earth in the name of a law. And then we named Barson, Barson Unique. Oh. And then my daughter is Taniqua and then Shaquita. He just gave us all names that he made up. He had to write them up. They have numbers and meanings and oh, everything wow. adds up to something, you know. So it was not just Tracy and Kim. And it was, it was real, unique. Real, yeah. Right. Yeah. He spent a lot of time and before he can get my name and then we had to individually name all of them. And they had to they have to live out that life oh. in that name. Oh, wow. And he was a big advocate for children. Yeah. He just wanted to make sure that they were taken care of. He spoke highly of them. Now, as far as the documentary, is there like a special message in particular to children? The message that I feel like my husband was really leaving is because we have now that he's never met them. We have 11 grandchildren oh. and a legacy continues and all through our home, every day of our lives, that's all we speak about is continuing on with ODB, Russell Jones, Unique Ace on the Law started. I'm a part of the legacy as well. Yes. I got the most grandchildren. I mean, <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, I got seven. So, yeah, I'm definitely continuing the legacy. Okay. Yeah. Music in, in, in the future? Oh, yeah, like, yeah. How's, you know, tell and us I'm really that. strict, too, with my whole family. Oh, okay. Yes. Well, how strict who can are you? Come out and who, and who can come out? As far as the music journey, are you going to follow the same path as your father, yeah. maybe your kids, his grandkids? Mm -hmm. Like, do you see that talent? Definitely so full. So thank you so much for bringing this to the audience. Like, it's great to keep his legacy alive. There's a perception of seeing like an artist on the screen, but they're not really like that behind the screen. It's a whole new part of that. And you get to show the intimate part of who he is. You yeah. know, he's a dad, he's a husband, he's an advocate for children. If you don't mind, Iceling, can you share, you know, tell yes. our, our audience <laughs> who this is? <laughs> I carry him everywhere I go. I don't care what people think. This is my ODB. We have little ODB, what are these little toys, figurines. little figurines. figurines. Well, I carry him. His arms move, his legs move, his neck, his head turns sideways, <laughs> he's got little braids. This is ODB, and that's it. He's always with you watching over. Yes. So thank you so much.